everyone. In today's video, we will look at ATEN's intelligent traffic steering solution. In a typical telco environment, you have your users connecting to radio towers and then going via the packet core to the internet. The packet core, for example, in the case of an LTE network would be your EPC and in case of 5G, it would be your 5G core. In between, the telecom providers like to offer value-added services such as data optimization, parental control and in some cases they still offer caching service. To steer the traffic through these value-added services, they need a device. Typically this device has been an application delivery controller, an ADC or a TDF as per the QGPP standard. So what happens is that the traditional providers have uh, typically use IP addresses to steer all the traffic through these value-added services and then it goes out to the internet. However, there's a shortcoming with this approach and the problem is that as the volume of traffic has increased, these devices or services are no longer able to cope up with that volume of traffic. Now, for example, let's look at the data optimization service. Currently, the service providers send all the traffic through the data optimization service based on this IP address. However, the data optimization service may or may not be applicable depending on the type of the traffic. For example, it will not be applicable for HTTPS traffic, the SSL traffic. So you do not want to necessarily send your traffic to data optimization service to overload the server unnecessarily. Additionally, there may be different type of users, for example, prepaid versus postpaid or the type of tower to which they are connecting, for example, the RAT type. So what you really want to do is you want to look at the user attributes as well as the policy profile for the users to selectively steer the traffic through one or more of these value added services. However, that's not what is happening today. As a result, these services are overloaded and are reaching their limit. So right now there are two options for the service providers. One is that either they do not send the traffic through the value added services, which means that the investments they have made will be uh, not resulting any profit. Alternatively, they could invest and upgrade these devices. However, that would be a very expensive proposition as well. So what's the real solution for this? Well, ATEN has a good solution called its Intelligent Traffic Steering Solution to help mitigate this problem. So the, what we can do is that we can look at multiple parameters of the traffic. So for example, we can look at the traffic type. And this can be, for example, HTTP, HTTPS, voice, etc. So depending on the type of the traffic, we can determine whether it should really go through one or more of these value added services or not. Secondly, we can look at the user attributes such as MC, IMEI, RAT type, etc. So these attributes we can get from a AAA server. So for example, if the user is connecting to a radio type like say 3G, we can determine that it should undergo a data optimization service. But if it is connecting to a different radio access technology type, then we can determine that it's probably not worth sending it through a DO service. And finally, we can look at the profile of the user server. So for example, you may have a prepaid versus postpaid user or you may be associating a profile such as bronze, silver, or gold. So instead of statically just sending all the traffic, what we can do is we can look at all these attributes, the traffic type, the user attribute, as well as the profile, and then selectively steer the traffic through one or more of these services. So for example, if the traffic type is HTTP, if the user is connecting to a radio type of like say 3G and if the profile is gold, we can say that, oh, this traffic qualifies to undergo a data optimization service. So in that case, when the traffic comes in, we will send it to the DO service and then send it out to the internet. Another thing to note is that we will only uh, selectively route the traffic so that it does not have to go through the services to which the user has not subscribed. Now suppose another user comes in and he or she has subscribed to 
parental control and caching service. In that case, we will send the traffic to the parental control, to the caching service, and then out towards the internet. So this can help you to optimize the utilization of these devices and services. This solution can help the traffic pro, uh, their telecom providers to leverage their existing investments. If they do need to upgrade, they can do so selectively only in the devices for which they really need to upgrade, as well as it enables them to provide a good quality of experience to the users. This is an overview of our intelligent traffic steering solution. Thanks for watching.